Okay, I got the back filling done up here on the south side. I don't know if you can tell in this video, but the grade is not favorable to uh, runoff, and I will have to make some sort of ditch or something right there to sort of turn the water away and out from that. Um, I think I made a pretty good barrier, but there's no reason to, to run water up against it. Uh, I'll cover it with a tarp until I'm ready to start building. But uh, got the second layer of pipe in. I did have enough gravel. It's still just a little bit left. Probably spread around out here to drive on, but uh, did have enough gravel, maybe even a little extra, and second layer of pipes in. I was packing the dirt right around the perimeter of this thing and ran over my gutter pipe, but I'll just dig down in it and make a, make a union there. But uh, looking pretty good. Won't be long till I'll be buying material and looking to start putting the structure up. So I'm um, at the point of um, actually starting to put the rafters on or it isn't going to be long. I've got to saw the very top part of that post off on both sides just so it'll all be even and then run the rafters and uh, put some plywood down, actually particle board and uh, I can put the roof on and have this thing more or less in the dry and that's my goal for this week. It is October the 1st and between deer hunting and uh, work and going on vacation things have just taken a little more time than I would have liked but here we are all right I've worked on this about all day and have got to the point to where I'm just wore out but I've got the uh, plywood on I'm ready to basically put the felt paper on and shingle it I have some shingles left over from when they did the roof on my house not too long ago I'm gonna use those I'm gonna double check make sure I've got enough but um, we're coming along really nicely I think tomorrow I will definitely have the roof on and in the dry I may even get this back wall the sidling put up on it just depends I've got to go into work at 3 but come along very good so this is an interesting perspective. Uh, I have finished the roof. This thing is dried out. I still have to put some um, tar down, patch a few little places, put a little silicone for the joints meet. But uh, basically, I've got tarps on the side here and timing could not have been better. It's raining now and, uh, well, I don't know, it could have been better, but Anyway, so the next step, I guess, is to patch that stuff. I need some gutters. You can see the rain dripping off there. But uh, once I get once I get the uh, silicone and so forth in, then it should be pretty good. Really pleased. This is a big set in rain. It's supposed to rain most of the afternoon. It's almost two o'clock right now, and it's supposed to rain, I guess, all the way through midnight. So. We'll see how this holds up. Yeah, so I've got the shingles on. Had those on for a day or so now. I actually got them done yesterday and it rained right after I finished it. If I had this to do over, I wouldn't. I, the only reason I used shingles is because I had a bunch laying around and that was much more difficult than 10 would have been. It took about a day to do it by myself and 10 would have taken probably 45 minutes to an hour to do the whole thing and probably would last just as long. Those are 30 year shingles, but just the same. And so, uh, that's the front. And so I've got the polycarbonate there and then you see that I've installed the, the reclaimed windows there on the front. So it's starting to come together a little bit. A um, little bit at a time. So I've uh, come a long way here got the siding up and put the fan up it's not wired yet but it is uh, mounted and I tested it and it does work and it's got uh, a uh, draw shutter here that uh, 
let air come in and then there's a shutter on the other side of the fan this is for when it gets hot I'm gonna set it for about 95 degrees and then let the uh, fan kick on to pull hot air out of here um, made a little head away, headway here with the uh, with the gable putting the um, panels up there to let the light in and got a uh, window couple windows roughed in right there and I will do the same thing over here I left this open because I come in and out a lot right here and I'll do it probably last but uh, I do that is the plan as I have another small window right there and another one to match it then I only have two windows in that um, glass from uh, bathroom the other one of those broke I don't know if you can see that glass line it just shattered in a million pieces and I'm just gonna push it down in that gravel because there's really no way to get it out they're so coming a long way um, again got the gable over there as well um, most of that right there will be uh, plywood because that's where the sinks gonna go the panel box and then there's the door right here so most of that will actually be closed in um, and not visible so I don't need a whole lot more or not visible not clear out to the to the outside I'll probably put a window right right in the middle of it so that I can just look out if I'm standing there working um, and then over here I'll put uh, <clears throat> I'll have to get a couple more windows because I wanted to put mostly windows on this side but shouldn't take a whole whole lot more I guessed it pretty close Anyway, that's where we're at. It's coming along nicely.